The news are reported by the Independent Medical Legal Unit, IMLU, on casualties of confrontations between the police and the public during the 2017 elections, says that at least 36 people have been killed with fingers pointing at the police. His findings, according to the reports, emanate from 19 counties that were under observation by the organization. Mark Namaswa has the details. One of the standout takeaway memories regarding the 2017 presidential polls will most likely be the chaos occasioned by confrontations between police and members of the public. Imlu has tabled what became of the casualties, starting with the August polls. We recorded a total of 23 deaths following the August elections and conducted post-mortems on 12 of them where we received consent from the next of kin. The post-mortem findings raise a clear case for an independent inquiry on the circumstances under which the police used lethal force to establish justifiability of use of force and or take legal action on the police command and or the individuals responsible. According to IMLU, post-mortem reports from 11 out of 12 conducted attributed gunshot wounds as the cause of death, with Nairobi getting the largest chunk of deaths, followed by Kisumu and Siaya counties. Going by the post-mortem report, there are no clear demonstrations that police were shooting to defend their lives or the lives of others. In the two cases where police indicated in P23 forms that they were shooting to save the lives of um, to shoot, that they were shooting to save their lives from attackers, the supposed attackers were both shot from the back, indicating little chances of them being killed while confronting the police with machetes. The October 26th repeat presidential poll also spelt doom for another 13 people, again spread out in Nairobi, Kisumu, Homa Bay, and Migori counties. Besides scores more injured by beatings, torture and suffocation through exposure to tear gas. Never mind, the youngest casualty reported was aged just six months old. Out of 34 who were shot, 13 succumbed to injuries, that is 13 died between 25th and 28th of, of October 2017. 51 of those who were shot, tortured and assaulted by police are currently recovering in different hospitals in Nairobi, Kisumu, Homa Bay and Migori counties. The report further details that security deployment disregarded the local security framework with personnel said to have dished out punitive measures to the public indiscriminately. The police responses treated everyone as suspect, destroying and legitimizing existing partnerships in policing. The coordination expected after all the assurances given prior to the August and October elections has been put into question, with residents in many neighborhoods in opposition strongholds hailing the local police for their restaurant and blaming rest strangers for the excessive use of force. So if an institution begins behaving illegitimately or illegally or outside the law, that institution begins to suffer you know, uh, a leg legitimacy deficit. And that's what we fear about the National Police Service. The findings were sourced from 19 counties, Nairobi, Kisumu, and Siaya featuring prominently. Recent interactions between members of the public and the police have raised questions whether reforms in the service have been a matter of moving ahead or a case of one step forward and two steps back. Mark Namaswa, KTN News.